Guys, in our culture, we believe that the stupider the content is, the more views it should get. And I stick by that rule, and that's what we believe in our, in our community. So I wanted to look at the videos of two wacky ding-dongs who we like to check in on, on on this channel every once in a while because they're always saying something stupid and silly and funny and it's easy content and we can make fun of it and we go, ha, 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 we can have a nice cackle and then go get a treat, you know? So it's good. <laughs> this first one is this guy, Tim Pool, who has way more viewers than a, who has way more viewers than he should ever, ever, ever have. No one should be watching this, but uh, millions of people watch it. So uh, let's take a look. Biden has big plans already selling his $4 trillion spending package. But this is many people worried. How are you going to pay for $4 trillion? Don't worry, says Joe Biden. He's going to tax the rich, raising capital gains taxes to unprecedented levels because these rich people aren't paying their fair share. Now, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Recently, a story went viral about the Daily Wire crew saying that the poor actually don't pay their fair share. And you've got the left and the right arguing over who needs to pay more taxes. We do have at least one billionaire saying Joe Biden raising taxes is going to destroy the market. We're starting to. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Let me get this straight. A billionaire. A billionaire is saying, don't raise my taxes. Something bad will happen if you raise my taxes. Oh, man. No conflict of interest there, Tim. Make pee pee. <laughs> We got one billionaire. He's just saying something. Witness hyperinflation. OK, maybe not hyperinflation. I don't know where you add the word hyper to the word inflation. But how about lumber costs going up 250 percent? How about all household goods prices skyrocketing, gasoline skyrocketing, a shortage of computer chips, a shortage of used cars, rental car prices skyrocketing. Hot he truly is so stupid. This is the stupidest channel on YouTube. It isn't. No, it is. It isn't. Hey, come on. Um, there's a bunch of research on this, and there's no link to government spending and inflation. There's no provable link there. This has been studied. And even in his own video, he goes on to say, well, Trump spent a lot too. Okay, then, and you loved Trump. So well, what? what's going on here? I'll read you a good little quote. This is uh, from CNBC. This just summarizes this well. Um, Economists say another reason inflation might stay low is that the link between money creation and consumer prices has weakened in recent years. When the Fed bought trillions of dollars in assets after the 2008 financial crisis, inflation never surged. <coughs> That's another funny thing is that he never... <laughs> He never talks about what's in the spending bill, this Biden spending bill, which is it's an infrastructure bill and basically like tax credits and stuff for uh, working families, like low income families. And he's like, we can't do that. And then there's another part later in it. You'll see where he goes on about the elites, the elites, these elites like Jeff Brazzers, who started Brazzers, which I like to go to and look at. But he's an elite. Uh, he goes on and on about elites, but he's w reading a Fox News article quoting a billionaire who doesn't want his taxes raised to pay for infrastructure spending and uh, working families. But the elites, these elites who run their YouTube channels and their skate parks. The experience of the last decade is that central bank balance sheet expansion certainly need not generate a period of excess, excess inflation. And in fact... Even with a big balance sheet, it might still be hard to get inflation that you want. Even if you wanted to get inflation, it's hard. While recent stimulus measures might not directly boost prices for consumers, some say it's, it is causing inflation in other places like the stock market or housing market. So what I love about Tim Pool is that he has no idea what he's talking about ever, or he just doesn't care. He just knows, like, I just have to say some points. What... Basically, Biden is bad because Trump was so awesome. He's got to say that. And then he's and then he's got to say something that sounds scary like this because, oh, oh no, you know, his viewers. Um, and then he just kind of free jazzes in between. But what I love about him is that he's it's just nonsense what he's saying. There's no evidence to support that government spending on infrastructure and, uh, you know, 
low income families or whatever is going to cause inflation. Literally no evidence for this. But he says he says this stupid nonsense with a, a lot of confidence and gravitas for the responsible working individuals of this country. Many on the left were advocating for insane policies they don't understand. Just deficit spend, they say. But eventually the bill comes due. <laughs> what are you, a fire and brimstone preacher now? But eventually the Lord comes. So then he goes on to sort of like scaremonger. He's like, okay, so if Biden passes this spending bill, which we've established economists have no link between government spending and inflation. Um, he says, here's what's going to happen if you do if you do this bill. Gas prices are skyrocketing and are expected to rise even higher this summer. From toilet paper to diapers, here's a slew of household staples that are about to get more expensive. Used car prices skyrocket due to global. So if you're just listening to this, he's got a bunch of like tabs open of like scare because you know this is sort of a right wing trope that's like press my little emotional buttons of fear i want to feel some fear i want to feel something i want to feel fear um so you got to get get with the fear mongering really quick <laughs> what's funny is that like the only thing i mean you could work in a bunch of explanations there are a bunch of factors because this is the real world and real life and we're supposed to be adults and actually have a little nuance in our thinking um a lot of things contribute to economic uh, price changes and stuff like this of course that's kind of how it works right the, really the only th <laughs> he found the one thing that's not a factor and is saying it's a factor so he Mentioned gas prices. I'll just read you a little bit. This is from fo from the leftist. I think it's like sort of like Jacobin, this thing. It's called Forbes. And here's their explanation for why gas prices are going up. Factor number one, rising oil prices. Why are oil prices rising? There are two factors that have driven up oil price. One is the demand collapsed by last year's pandemic because no one was driving around. Okay? The muscular class. We're not driving around. At the end of the at the as the end of the pandemic nears, oil demand is bouncing back. <laughs> Supply doesn't respond as quickly, blah, 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 blah. Second, unlike a year ago, OPEC and Russia recently decided to cooperate by extending blah 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 blah. Uh, nothing in here about uh, an infrastructure bill. Factor two, loss of refining capacity. <laughs> and then he goes on to talk about chip not being able to get chips for cars. This is sort of a sim similar situation with the graphics cards, which has been the bane of my ex I'm literally it takes me like hours to export a video that I do every day because I'm out of my mind, right? I'm one of these kind of guys <laughs> uploading a video every day. Um, impossible because I have a graphics card. That it's not even a graphics card in my computer. It's uh, like the pop tarts still in the package. So it's silver. So it kind of looks like electronics, but it's not. And it doesn't do rendering very two s'mores pop tarts stu stuffed into a computer does not render very well surprisingly right make pee pee um yeah so the explanation for the graphics card problem that nobody can get a graphics card and they're being scalped and all this stuff is supply the supply is down and the demand is up basically so more people this is a couple of the possible explanations nobody knows for sure because this is complex but um less production because of covid factory stuff and then increase in demand because of bitcoin mining and people are at home and they want to play games more and blah 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 the one explanation that it makes no sense absolutely no sense is passing an infrastructure bill also i don't know if i explain this uh <clears throat> you know anybody who doesn't have is like ec economics is stupid and annoying i get it um, or if you're younger or whatever, inflation is basically like when prices go up and, uh, buying power of the money goes down. Like it, it takes more of this money to buy a thing. Your money goes down in value, basically. Um, just a little, little explanation if you didn't want, <laughs> if you didn't want to look that up. Uh, and anyway, backing up here, uh, I wanted to go back something he says about, uh, 
Ben Pepino, another character we make fun of on this show. A story went viral about the Daily Wire crew saying that the poor actually don't pay their fair share. And you've got the left and the right arguing over who needs to pay more taxes. This video is pretty funny. Ben Pepino says a bunch of dumb stuff about uh, taxes and all this stuff. But that's not you could go watch it. That's for another day to like look at all the uh, nonsense that he says. What it, what's funnier, the kind of funnier summary is the whatever this Daily Wire third stringer says in response to Pepino. Here we go. The people who don't pay their fair share in this country are the poor. We need to raise taxes on the poor. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The poor in this country pay zero. The lower middle class in this country pay net zero. So we have a group of people who pay no taxes, a group of people who pay. So they're all like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm serious. I'm a Daily Wire third stringer and I'm serious. Um, this is a good idea because these guys also don't believe in a minimum wage. So this makes perfect economic sense, like right off the bat. Pay people five or four or two or nine or or six dollars an hour and then shift the tax burden to them. Yeah, I don't see any economic problems with that. Taxing people that have no money. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Just why not tax those people like 50 percent, right? Because if you're making a million dollars a year and you get taxed, let's say 70%, you can't live off the remaining money. But if you're making nine, if you're making $8 an hour and you get taxed 50%, easy, easy to live off of 10 grand a year or whatever it is, 15 grand a year. Very easy. No economic, no problem here. This is sound economic logic and reason from the Facts and Logic crew over at the Daily Wire. Make PP. I would like to come over and make PP on their set. They just come over and they're like, what? Is, what is that? Somebody peed all over our TGI Friday set. Also, this comes from deep beliefs, these guys. It's just, it's incidental that oligarchs and billionaires of this right-wing welfare system pay for everything that these guys do and say. That's a, that's a coincidence that they don't want to pay taxes and these guys happen to say all the stuff that aligns with it. <laughs> come on. That's a coincidence, right? Bye-bye. Okay, so then he jumps over to Bitcoin for some reason. Here we go. $15,317.60. Today, one Bitcoin is $56,000. Se I'm sorry, $56,710.50. Oh! Why skyrocket so much? Surely, there are people who want to invest in something like Bitcoin because it's the future. But perhaps it's because the smart... <laughs> I love that language. But perhaps, I'm just pondering things. I'm just being a ponderous little puke here. Make pee pee. People. The people with money who didn't want to lose it recognized you can't just have politicians pumping money into the system and not have a crisis on your hands. The market, some are predicting, will take a hit. It's there are, I did read about this, there are, um, you know, investors who are worried about inflation, so they'll, they buy a bunch of Bitcoin. But again, has nothing to do with doing an infrastructure bill. <laughs> like, he's putting these things together. A lot of this is wacky and whimsical, but uh, there are multiple reasons for Bitcoin going up and all this crap. One reason is that that I've heard is that <clears throat> because more institutions are accepting it or or using it or da 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 da, so then the value goes up and blah blah blah. The one thing that's not that it's not related to is an infrastructure bill, because as we've seen, that does. Uh, nothing to inflation. It might in the maybe in the mind of some investor, but then again, who who knows why that person is buying Bitcoin? From last year, check this one out. From Insider, April twenty third, they say many household goods are getting more expensive as companies like Procter and Gamble and General Mills announce price hikes to combat shortages and rising shipping costs. During its third quarter earnings call this week, Procter & Gamble said it had started raising the prices of some of its goods, including baby care and feminine care products and adult diapers. The exact amount of the price increase will vary by brand and sub-brand in the range of mid to high single digit percentages and will go into effect in mid-September. Hope you're ready for how bad it's going to get in the next few months, man. 
<laughs> Everyone's scared. Everyone's scared. He's really trying to get his audience real foamed up. Oh, they're really peeing their pants watching the Oh, oh, oh that nice young man on YouTube make me so afraid. This isn't totally untrue. There is there are supply line problems with food because of the pandemic and da 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 da. But again, all reasons having absolutely nothing to do with the infrastructure bill. Um, never explaining what's going on. Even he kind of like read over. I don't know if he caught what he was reading, but it mentions that because of uh, because of shipping. And I'll tell you what I fear. Oligarchy. This is what we're heading to, and the Democrats. What? Democrats are doing everything in their power to make sure it happens. They want the technocrats, the technology, these big tech firms to control everything. I mean, this is the one case as much as uh, me and people like me don't like Biden. This is one case where we, I guess, kind of support. I would need to look at the spending bill a little bit more. But just right off the bat, most people are like, yeah, this is general, generally like a step in the right direction to do infrastructure spending. So Timmy Poole is really worried about oligarchy. These oligarchs. <laughs> but, but, but he starts off, he starts off quoting a billionaire on why we shouldn't do infrastructure spending. I, I honestly, I love Tim Pool. I love to, Tim Pool is literally, I think he, he might even have more dementia than I do to be able to say this stuff. I mean, of course, the real criticism on Biden from people who really pay attention to this stuff is uh, that this is just not enough. You know, there's no like big jobs program. There's no uh, like FDR style crap in here. It's just, uh, you know, some little, some obvious stuff like infrastructure spending and da 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 da. But this is not going to, you know, is not going to do enough. A lot of this economic stuff can people, you know, they're like, oh, if I need to go to sleep, I'll listen to economics. And a lot of like guys like Tim Pool and stuff, economics can be for a lot of people just like astrology or something where they just project they're like oh blah, blah, and they'll go into long explanations that they just kind of make up to seem smart and it's like because it's kind of a blurry subject matter a lot of the times economics is just like they're like okay okay buddy sounds good right i guess but uh, one thing for sure investing in uh the infrastructure of a con- of a country is uh probably a good thing I'm going to say. And but Tim Pool's really worried. Oh, a billionaire said there'll be inflation. Does he have any proof? Well, he's a billionaire. So he's got no conflict of interest about taxes and stuff. Make pee pee. So little look at two of the stupidest channels on YouTube. Very dumb. Very, very dumb. So, of course, they're very popular. Right? Guys, little advice that I've given on this channel many times. If you want some, if you want to do a successful channel on YouTube, make it very stupid, or make it like a, you know, do something nice. Do like the guy who feeds stray cats and doesn't talk. Okay. Animal relate, animal related, or very, very, very like, like uh, almost childlike stupidity. Those are the two things that are successful on the, on YouTube, apparently. Okay? Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, and thanks so much for watching this video. Like all the other YouTube and podcast perverts, I now have a Patreon. Every week on this Patreon, I'm uploading two exclusive Patreon-exclusive shows. They're like real shows, more produced, more edited. A behind-the-scenes show where I reveal all my secrets and a show where we go deep on an important topic that you will want to know about. Also, you get the daily and complete live show audio-only feeds. 